Hi, my name is Mayanna and welcome to Myocore. Today I'm going to be doing a book haul. This is actually my first book haul that I've done in all of 2023. And I'm so proud of myself because the old Mayanna by now would have had like four book hauls up. But also the only reason why I cannot haul that many books is because I literally don't have a job. So that's quite literally the only thing that's saving me. But I have been racking up some books over the past like three months well since my last book haul in December there's not that many books it's only like 15 books but I still wanted to share them with you guys because I love doing hauls no matter how big or small so I'm just gonna get into it so the first book, two books that I have to haul is Cruel Beauty and Crimson Bound these are both library copies if I'm gonna buy a used book I love buying library copies because these actually look brand new the only thing is these stupid stickers that are on them but I have like a bunch of books that have these stickers on it so one day I'll take the time and try to get the stickers off but I recently read Cruel Beauty in a video where I read popular books from 2014 I believe and I really enjoyed this book I ended up giving it four stars and so I bought Crimson Bound because I feel like I'm gonna love this book and also I'm gonna be reading this one in another vlog so I figured since I already read this one and love this one then I could buy this one and you know read it so the next book I have is the Kings of Ruin I bought this one just because I've been seeing a lot of people talk about this book a lot and when this book first came out I remember wanting to read it but that was when I had stopped reading YA and I thought that this book was YA so I kind of just was like putting it on I was like whatever I'll get to it at some point because I really want to read a dragon book but I just I wasn't really in the mood for YA anymore so I just wasn't really checking for it and then um someone was talking about it and i don't know it sounded adult but even though even if it's not adult it'll be fine um i really just wanted to read it but this book also has footnotes in it which like me and footnotes don't really get along like that but i don't i just feel like i'm gonna love this book like i feel like i'm gonna eat it up so the next book i have is a another library book like so book and that is Archeron. So this is like the 15th book in a huge paranormal romance fantasy series. It's about like vampires and werewolves and vampire hunters and all this stuff and um it basically stems from like the greek gods and so i really like this series it's a fun series to read and so i bought this one because i love this cover like i don't know what it is there's like a few of these that i wanted to get and i got them for like I, but i had to get this one because i know that this one is like hard to find and so i found it for like five dollars so i had to buy this one but this one each book in the series follows a different character and basically in this series they have like the greek gods and the greek gods basically created like vampires and werewolves they're not called vampire and werewolves they're called something else but the greek gods basically created them and so this is about Archeron who i think is supposed to be like a god or okay yes he was a god cursed into a human's body and so this book is humongous because this book is technically two different stories in one. So the first half is about Archeron and well it actually follows Archeron through the eyes of his sister. Well it follows him being sent away to live with his uncle and then like the sister wanted to see him because she hasn't seen him in a few years and then she finds out that um he's being like basically a slavery of some sort. A sexual one. And so she like tries to like get him out but then it makes things worse and then he ends up they end up falling in love with art artemis and um the other one um they both end up falling in love with the other one and then like she ends up having kids and yeah so then you follow like the next story of him following the new love of his life the be this story is so sad the beginning of the story was so intriguing i feel like the only thing about this author's books that i don't like is that they all like the romances go the exact same way like they meet they immediately fall in love they hook up and then it's like on from there like it's just insta love and like that got so boring but i think that the world itself is so creative and cool that like i read a bunch of these at once and at some point i want to get back to them but i had to take a break because i could not keep reading the same romances over and over again then the next the next book i have is the great alone by christian hannah 
I read this book at the end of the last year. It was actually one of my favorite books of the year. I read this book in December and I absolutely loved it. It is about Arkansas, which I've always been intrigued by Arkansas. I just, I don't know, it's such an interesting state to me. I would like to go there one day. Well, after reading this book, I don't know. It's about this girl and her dad used to be in the military. And one day he like, he's having a hard time finding a job, but he ends up getting a lead from one of his friends. So they end up packing up and moving to Arkansas. And that's what just realized like, Arkansas bitch do you mean Alaska what oh my gosh whatever they just pack up and they end up moving to Alaska and it's like really cold there she ends up meeting this boy and he ends up like having to move away like they have like this little like little childhood friendship but then he ends up moving away you follow her throughout her life honestly and you end up discovering that her dad is like abusing her mom so it's just like and then you follow like winter and how hard winter is for them and like the animal like the wild animals and this small town in alaska and how they come together and it's just such a like a beautiful story like how like the boy ends up coming back at a time and end up falling in love it's just such a beautiful story I thought like I've been avoiding this book so I thought I was gonna be sad I recently discovered that I'm heartless so these books don't really make me sad I mean it made me sad but it doesn't really make me cry but this was like such an amazing book so I had to own it um at some point I'm gonna be reading Nightingale finally because like I don't know Christian Hannah two more two more five stars out of you girl you might be a favorite author next two books I have are bear town and us against you i recently read bear town at the end of last year and us against you and the last book um earlier this year so i own the first two books because this one was hard to find you know i have to have a hardcover girl this one was hard to find and then this one's hard to find now as you can see i'm a little annoyed they are two different sizes and you're probably like man that's not that big of a difference it just really pisses me it really does um especially because this one is super super hard to find and i paid 14 dollars for this for it to be shorter than this one but that is my own fault i gotta figure out if these are from two different countries or what so bear town another sad like winter book that i read it is about this town that one night everyone hears a gunshot and you're following like what led up to that gunshot and um trigger warning for like essay but it's about like this hockey town this small town who like keeps their town going and one of the star players in the hockey town essay is a girl and it just really messes up the whole town the whole town starts blaming her and it's just like the fucked up people in this small town i i i love the fucked up people in this small town which is like sad to say because they were victim blaming her but it was they it didn't really follow like those people I and mean, it followed the people that it affected the most because this one situation affected so many different people in so many different ways and i just love this book so much like it was just so amazing as you can see because i finished all three books which i never do okay so the next book i have is the stolen era which i actually have two copies of this book and i would like hey let me ship it to you but i don't know how to ship things so but yeah um i read this earlier this year this is one of my most anticipated the most anticipated releases of 2023 um, i have a vlog on this book by holly black it is a duology the sequel not the sequel but like the follow-up story to the folk of the air it follows jew's younger brother oak and another character very popular hopefully you know what this is about because i'm not gonna explain it so sorry then i have hellbent which i read three times this year and i'm gonna make it a fourth soon uh absolutely love this book um my friend actually bought this book for me and i really appreciate that also deja bought well she got me another copy she got me a signed copy which i am just like so grateful for that i have such amazing friends who love me enough to look out for me in such a way but yeah so hellbent is a sequel to ninth house ninth house my favorite book of all time it is about this girl named Alex who can see grades, which are essentially ghosts. It's dark academia, it takes place in Yale, has like cults, and it has Daniel fucking Arlington. Darlington. Uh, and then Darlington and Alex just, ugh. This book was everything. I mean, I read this book in every single format ebook, physical, and audio. Like, I ate this book up. And then the next book I have is 
before I let go um I don't remember what this book is about like I remember what it's about but I'm also confusing it I think I might be confusing it with her other book that's like super super popular I think this one is about like second chance romance and so I started this book I had a chapter in and it wasn't like it was bad or anything I just have not been in the mood for romance lately but and I've been putting this book off because everybody's like oh it's sad it's sad sometimes I don't be wanting to read a sad book squirrel but it's okay I have went to Barnes and Noble and I really wanted to buy a book and this was the only one that like really looked intriguing to me and I don't really like like right now I don't really like buying books that I have not read just because I don't have a lot of money to be wasting and just buying books and being like oh if I like it I'll just I don't have time for all of that so I try to buy books that like I've already read but I have a really good feeling about this so hopefully I'm right or that's gonna be very embarrassing okay so the last three books i have i'm in my star wars era okay i've been watching the star wars movies i'm absolutely obsessed with them i've been consuming star wars in every single media i can i've watched all the movies i've watched all the shows and i'm moving on reading the books so the first book i have is the revenge of the sith so this is actually a trilogy i mean the movie's a trilogy but this is a trilogy on its own there's a book before this one called like the labyrinth of evil and that takes place right after um the second movie attack of the clones and then this one is the novelization of revenge of the sith revenge of the sith is like my favorite movie because i love anakin skywalker like that is my man i love his story arc and so i was like hmm i want to be in anakin's head to see like like him going evil because him turning evil was just like ugh, and it's like turning evil he technically turned well in my mind he turned evil for padme which was like his wife like in my mind okay um that's how i see it so i was like turning evil for, like i have to read i have to see like i don't know it's something about me where it's like i have to see what's going on in a character's mind because i feel like obviously the T the movie is only dialogue but like even just to see like what's going on around I just feel like the book is like the books just books are just so much better because they have so much more depth to it you know and so I just had to buy this one um and you know I had to get in a hardcover and the last two books I have to haul are Light of the Jedi and The Rising Storm. So these take place in the High Republic era. So the High Republic is 200 years before Star Wars or the Skywalker storyline. So this follows the High Republic and like their like their rulers and how that came to fall. And so I read both of these and I thought they were okay. But like they're really good books. But I just feel like they just there's always something off about them like they're three stars but they're absolutely beautiful. I am obsessed with these covers and these have some really really great characters but I'm not a character girl. I need a little bit more than characters so unfortunately I couldn't like rate them five stars but these were like so fun to read and it's just like it's just so fun to get into because it's like so much content there and so much going on like they have like three phases and within each phase is a, is a wave and then there's like the kid the YA novels and then there's the the middle grade novels and then there's the um comic books and there's also a manga and I've read the comic books and I love the comic books so I do recommend but it's just like so fun like the Star Wars world is like so like who would have thought but yeah that's it for this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one